Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Liam vs. Noel, the second albums, and I have just listened to uh, Liam's first song, which was called Shockwave, and Noel has got some work to do uh, in this one to beat that song, because that was a fucking brilliant song. Um, looking forward to this, because obviously I do like Noel Gallagher as well, but um, like I said in the other reactions that... Um, I think Liam edged the first album, so I'm I'm, in, I'm interested to see if Noel actually changed his sound here at all from the first album. I know someone's told me his third album he's he's changed it anyway. He's changed his sound to something called cosmic pop, whatever that is. I would never have associated Noel with pop music, so I'm interested to see what that will be after this album. But um, like I say, going back to this one, the first one's called Riverman on um, Chasing Yesterday, which is Noel's second album. So let's do these. Let's get through these albums and see who wins this war. Um, before we do that, if you do actually like videos, then please consider hitting like and subscribe. It supports me and it supports the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. So, without further ado, let's get into this. This is Noel Gallagher and Riverman. In fact, it's just before he carries on with that, I know I paused it halfway through his introduction. Um, I feel like with Liam's out for first album to second album, I feel like he's took the notches up, and I think Noel's doing the same here with this one because at first I thought, oh, he's going to he's going to play like a similar side of, uh, card structure as like Wonderwall, which is a, one of his most popular songs. But obviously, he's changed it up, and it's it sounds a, a bit different from the first album. So I'm looking forward to the change in style. Um, someone did tell me that um, most of the songs off the original album, the first Noel Gallagher album, since like when he changed to have Five Flying Birds, most of them songs were written for Oasis. Now, them songs, um, at the end of Oasis, they, they were like the songs of Falling Down. The song, so They were like the songs, the style of Falling Down and stuff like that off the last album. And that really wasn't my thing. So, so this one sounds like he's going back to like the Wonderwall type stuff. Uh, so let's go, let's see how he does it. So clearly this is an infatuation about a woman and uh, however it's transpiring within the story of the song, he, he he tells himself that he needs to walk away from her but he can't help but stand and stare because of the infatuation strong. That's where I think he's going with this song. It's really, it's a, it's a cool song this actually. <laughs> So obviously in a little while she'll be gone. If he doesn't make a move on her soon, he's going to lose her. And and the, her aura, her presence is the thing that's electrifying the storm is what he's saying there. So it's clearly an infatuation song. Well, it is to me anyway. But I will look up the song facts as I do always anyway.
That was like almost um, jazz like, and Noel is notorious for not liking jazz. If you've never been to a jazz club, this is why I was at a jazz club. A jazz club is like four guys on stage enjoying themselves <laughs> more than the 50 people in the audience. <laughs> That's what it is. They're all playing a different song, all at the same time, in different tempos, in different keys, and they call it jazz. It's fucking nonsense. Saxophone music is like associated with jazz music. <laughs> oh my God. Um... <laughs> Let's go. Now he's following her. He stood. He stood there, and he's so desperate to be with this woman. He stood there till his feet get wet. If it's raining, etc. And somehow in the crowd, she heard him, and then she scuttled off and disappeared. So maybe she doesn't want anything to do with him. Well, yeah, that was that was still a, a good song and a change to a change of pace. But I got more I got more from the Liam song in this in this instance. I thought that that got me more excited. It was just, you know, it was it was straight back in with the the rock indie oasis sound. Whereas this one was more mellowed out, which I do expect from Noel now. To be honest, even though he was the guy who wrote nearly every song for Oasis, but he, I think I feel like he changed. Um, and went to mellow towards the end of Oasis, and obviously he's carried that on with his music as um, as a solo artist. Um, I'm gonna. I think like the, the message of the song about the being the river man, if you like, is that every, every time she keeps getting away, it's like it's like it's like when something floats off down the river and you can't stop it. That's what I feel like the river man symbolizes, if you like. But I will look up the meaning now. I'll there's quite a big par paragraph. I'll scoot over it with the main facts. 
Um, the song originated from a drinking session between Noel Gallagher, Russell Brand and Morrissey in LA when Morrissey asked him to play a compilation CD. Um, Gallagher, recalled, Ga- Gallagher recalled the music would be going on and on and we'd be playing like, name this song, name that song, and he'd be like, I don't know. Anyway, the night before we left, uh, this is coming from Noel, the night before we left, uh, my engineer and drummer, our twin brothers, and they said, have you heard this track, Pinball, by Brian Prothero? Uh, and, and they said no and we played it and then a light came on in his head and he thought what if I played this style in a track I've never heard that song so I don't know what it is and then he's, he said something that I said at the beginning of this song the acoustic opening guitar uh, is reminiscent of uh, Gallagher's most recognisable tune Wonderwall um, so I mean that's what I picked up when I thought it was the same chord progression as that but it was, obviously it was slightly different for a different song but yeah, I enjoyed the song and it was a nice change of pace. But I do think if he carries on in this vein and Liam carries on in the vein that I've just listened to, then I think it's going to be 2-0 to Liam. Only because Liam's music is seems to be going up a notch. Um, whereas Noel's is like, yeah, it's Noel. <laughs> do you know what I mean if, when I say that? But yeah, still really enjoyed the song. I thought it was a cool, cool song. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please like, subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon or any of these uh, social medias, then the links are in the description. Thanks for watching us. I'll see you on the next one.